Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Hope everybody had a great weekend. I uh, hope everybody had a decent start to their week. Uh, again, if you could be so kind, take a second out, support the channel, uh, click a like. Uh, if you haven't done so already, subscribe, come aboard, and hopefully again, I could continue uh, to bring you uh, daily value. So market played out today pretty much how uh, we talked about on the weekend uh, video. Uh, we're kind of in a holding pattern on the NASDAQ until uh, the big heavyweights uh, come out with their earnings. Uh, as you can imagine, well, market didn't do anything, at least on the NASDAQ 100 sides. Uh, there was only literally two pivots uh, for the whole day. Again, we'll get to the pivots uh, in a second. But most important is this week is pretty big, right? Uh, and what we talked about in the weekend video kind of still applies uh, to what we're going to see going into tomorrow's session. Uh, you're going to see a lot of names that were kind of going sideways for the last several weeks are now going to be coming out of their ranges, whether it's to the upside to the downside. Again, we don't know. Uh, but tomorrow you have uh, AMD. Right, you have AMD who has been stuck in this really, really, uh, you know, pretty lethargic channel, and you have Google, right? You have Google for tomorrow as well. Uh, made an attempt today, gapped up into supply, and it got sold off. But you can see how clean this channel is. And if Google could actually come out with good numbers tomorrow, and the market perceives it as good numbers, when we can start a really big move, we saw we definitely saw some pretty aggressive call buying coming in. Uh, today, ahead of tomorrow night's earnings, you had uh, the 170 weeklies and the 175 weeklies, which kind of correlates because 176 here is the linear regression line uh, and would be uh, measured potential. Uh, Wednesday, right? Wednesday, you have um, you have Meta. Meta has been getting some pretty, uh, pretty good flow, uh, just like uh, Google and just like uh, AMD. You're still getting... Uh, a pretty tight channel. We're going to need to get out of that channel. Uh, we have saw uh, a lot of calls coming in, the 590s, the 600s. Uh, they're very, very ambitious on the meta uh, earnings. And you can see here, I would like to see a possible run up day tomorrow ahead of earnings, but I don't know if we'll get that. But you can see we've been in this, this we've been in this kind of this channel for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tomorrow will be day nine, probably. Uh, won't get anything done until it's Wednesday's earnings, but you can tell you we have a very, very clean pivot going into earnings after hours for Wednesday. Uh, Microsoft reports on uh, Wednesday as well. Uh, again, trying to come out of this channel here. Nothing is getting done, just like all the other names. So if you're a NASDAQ 100 trader, and that's pretty much uh, my specialty, you're going to be stuck in a channel, right? It's stuck in a channel until your stocks get over it. Speaking of stocks, that got out of the channel, what was Tesla, right? You know, Tesla uh, came out of the channel, a very, very explosive move up. And here's kind of where we always talk about, guys. Um, you know, it, you don't need to be, uh, you, you don't need to, to be an institution to, to think like an institution. You just can't think of, re you just can't think like retail. And what I mean by that is all weekend, all I saw was 271, right? 271. Tesla gets above 271. It's going to go. It's going to go 271. People who trade 20 cent stocks are talking about Tesla trading at 271. Crypto traders talking about 271. Hell, my mother called me up. Hey, Dan, we're still watching Tesla 271. So the first thing I said today, uh, the first thing I, I wrote today on social media was, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not going to be the, you know, the guy buying 271 with all of uh, retail, all of social media, because realistically, Retail is always the last one to know. They might hit one one out of 100 times at a level, but the key to technical analysis, and especially the PS60 theory, is you're not trading at levels that everybody's looking at. And when you see you know, everybody from, you know, from A to Z looking at a 271 level, and we talked about this in the webinar today at Morning Strategy, I go, I have no interest, zero interest uh, buying in this thing into strength because what's going to wind up happening is they're going to reject off the 271 level. They're going to take it down. All those people that got caught in that 271 spin cycle 
are going to sell at the bottom channel, that's where you want to get along. You want to get into the 60 minute push. And the stock was just trading 271, 271, but all of pre market 271. And guess what happened, right? Guess what happened? Here's the 60 move, uh, 60 minute move uh, on Tesla, right? All is trading 271, 271, and they traded the stock back down to 265, the 266 level. Why is that important? Well, that's where the bottom of the channel was, and you can see it right here. You know, here was here was literally our comments 265, 80, 266 area potential bounce. It bounced right off 266. Got law, you know, it, it 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 went green, went red to green, and then finally, when everybody was out of the trade, right? When everybody into the trade, this is how we were talking about two seventy one later now becomes valid because already it already rejected from that level from you know at the open. So anybody who's never trained in Tesla is all about the you know rah rah rah. Let's get in no matter what price. Uh, you know, you know the social media mentality. All those people have bought 271, that the follow inch of 271, they got wrecked. The stock went down, you know, five, six dollars, unless you're trading two shares, right? Got wrecked, probably, probably sold at the bottom of the channel. Uh, shorts got trapped at the bottom of the channel. And then Tesla woke up, finally confirmed at 271 and traded almost 274. So it gave a pretty good move. Congratulations to all you guys. Uh, not only it took the 271 pivot the second time around, literally when everybody was gone, uh, but the first time that bounce from the 266 level was was huge. It was you know it was a, it was a seven eight dollar bounce. So uh, great job there. Uh, this was the literally the only other pivot of the day. I mean, because considering everything was going sideways, uh, this was literally the only one. This was a massive move here. Uh, SCRV uh, 1076 uh, needs to build. Here was uh, SERV right here was SCRV. Uh, it took out this whole channel here that was developing from October the seventh. Took out 1076, traded all the way up to 1284. Just an absolute uh, massive move. And now the question is, well, what happens next? Um, tomorrow, you're not getting a lot of huge, huge value. Again, tomorrow night when you get uh, when you get earnings release from uh, earnings release from AMD and Google, I'll probably be playing probably Google uh, more than AMD. But then again, we, we don't know the way that they're going to come out. So I'm probably going to be playing more after hours tomorrow. Uh, than anything else. But, you know, once these stocks start getting out of channels, that's when they become really, really tradable. Same thing for Wednesday's report and obviously Thursday's report with Amazon uh, and Apple as well. So there's definitely things to do. Uh, the question is for tomorrow, well, how much value you have for tomorrow? And this is kind of where you need to be a little bit more creative and kind of start looking uh, outside of the comfort area uh, where we're looking at. So let me give you guys a couple ideas uh, for tomorrow, uh, Bitcoin is you know breaking out, right? Bitcoin is breaking out. Um, I like this Mara setup. Do I love this Mara setup? I don't love it. I don't love anything outside of the mega cap uh, space, but I, I like it enough, right? I like it enough here. You can see here, it's attempting to come out of a channel here uh, that's going back to, let's see, to August, right? To August, uh, as you can see here, got rejected at the top of supply. If it starts getting back above the supply, it could actually wake up, especially uh, considering that Bitcoin is uh, moving up. Uh, CLSK is another, I believe, has something to do with Bitcoin. Again, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really a, a big, um, you know, non-beta trader, but this thing looks pretty good as well. Keep an eye on this thing uh, above the October highs. Uh, that looks interesting. Uh, AI, right? AI is you know attempting to come out of a one two three four five six seven eight nine tomorrow will be day ten two week worth of channels you know keep an eye on this thing you know that that looks fine right that looks fine as well arm actually looks pretty good it attempted to get back above the 10 day moving average today it got rejected so i want to see if it could get a, a 10 day reclaim uh nvidia right nvidia has had uh, an incredible run here um, I don't know if it's going to happen tomorrow, but I, I, I'm a buyer in the 10 day moving average, right? You, you see this green line, folks, see this green line. You see how many, how many times it's bounced off this green line. This green line is the 10 day. So it's bounced off this green line once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times. You see what I'm saying? You don't got to be too creative. So I'm watching NVIDIA for a potential, uh, remount bounce off the 10 day moving average. In the next couple of days, it doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to happen tomorrow, but I'm definitely watching for weakness. And Tesla, for the exception of the selling into the close, number one, Tesla's had a, a run of from 212 
to 273 in three sessions, okay? It deserves a break. What I want to do in that break is, just like NVIDIA, I want to wait for it to kind of catch up. You see the five-day, we're still really, really far away from the five-day moving average, but the longer it doesn't, you know, the, the longer it doesn't, um, you know, have its next leg up, it's going to give us that bounce. We, we want that bounce. The next trade on Tesla is going to be that either five, probably the five-day bounce. So that's exactly what I'm looking for. Because uh, again, these stocks need to breathe. They need to marinate. The last thing you want to do is keep on going up and up and up and up. But the key is what we saw today, uh, what we saw today, what we talked about is something that, again, you figure out after 25 plus years, don't be in the same trade as everybody else. That's exactly the same thing. Uh, you, the bottom balance on Tesla today off that 266 level was phenomenal. It was an absolute phenomenal balance. The, when everybody started piling at 271, 271, 271, because somebody on social media said, hey, man, 271 is the breakout. Yeah, no kidding. My mother even said that, right? The point is that failed. And here's kind of the honest question. This is kind of something that you really have to think about when you're tr tr kind of trading your or, 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 or trying to figure out what type of trader you want to be. Guys, keep this in mind. I, I would say 98, 99% of retail, right? Is in La La Land. So my point is, if 98, 99% of retail is in La La Land, okay, well, why would you want to trade like them, right? Why would you want to be in the same stock, in the same day, in the same time frame, looking at the same price as them? It just doesn't make any sense. The point of an edge is to figure out an arbitrage, right? Figure out an arbitrage that majority of people don't understand or don't or or, or don't have uh, or don't have the tools to identify. And that's where you want to kind of duplicate things over and over again. Not the same thing as, well, this is the area it has to go. Yeah, maybe it will, maybe it won't. But there's always a higher probability when everybody's going in at the same time, same price. Uh, well, there's a better chance it will fail. So guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Tomorrow should be uh, a very, very interesting day. Uh, probably, it is probably after hours. It is probably going to give us a little bit more value. Uh, if you are interested in pivots, folks, and again, the PS60 theory is my little creation, right? I did this 12 years ago. Um, so if you are interested in trading pivots, again, all you need to do is click the link below. There's a 30-day kind of kick the tires uh, thing. In 15 seconds, you'll figure out uh, if it's for you. Guys, God bless everybody. Have a great night, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.